Jonathan, you look like a whole new man with that birthday you just had. Hey. Yep. I'm entirely different now. I'm not the same person. Everything changed. Whoa. Whoa. That's like the opposite of like every birthday I've ever heard ever. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm the special one. <laughs> John he says, is the last I'm, millennial. So. He's, he's, he, he just continues to grow in power as he gets yes. older. <laughs> Turns out I was the main character. <laughs> in every birthday is an anniversary episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Except the audience hates it because it's always a clip show. <laughs> Remember when? <laughs> It shows well, me just filling up gas. <laughs> Jake likes to edit the, uh, radio, so that'd be fun just going from previous episodes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just doing a top show. Uh, I'm not doing that, so everyone at home listening, just imagine that I edited in previous episodes of John's it's Funny all, Biz. All we, John's funniest moments. It's going to be about five seconds long. <laughs> no, I was going to say it's going to be every single episode. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Am I listening to the whole series again? <laughs> Uh, very flattering. Uh, very let's start flattering. from the beginning. <laughs> Let me tell you, though, being 28 is... I was lying. It's completely the same. I feel like the exact piece of shit I was yesterday. So, I, to I, make myself feel better, I got a cat. God, there I forgot you go. over that, yo. Yay! You gotta work, you gotta work on that self-deprecation. <laughs> what? Uh, you, I'm gotta work Kelly on, you gotta work on that self-deprecation. Nah, no, yeah, it's good. Jonathan, d- d- don't you ever talk about my friend like that. <laughs> I think it's perfectly fine. Uh, so I, Every I, morning I, I wake I, up and just whip myself in front of the mirror. <laughs> no, oh, it's not no. that. Uh, let, let me bring it, bring it back happier. What, what, what are some fun birthday thing, uh, birthdays that you guys have had? Whether you guys like went out somewhere, or did you do some... Did you take a trip? Oh, I never had a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Tim just doesn't age. <laughs> it just doesn't. He just doesn't have birthdays. In terms of vampire. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, my birth being being a member of a giant family and you have birthdays like every other week. It's like they, you know, we had joint cakes. Like we would wait for like three or four siblings to have birthdays in like a month, and then we would just have one cake. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I I, I, re- I realized uh, talking to this crowd that I, I grew up an only child, so maybe maybe it's a little different. But yeah, I, I was about to say, Jake. <laughs> I was like, same same with my family. Like pretty much, uh, we just started just sharing birthday times, and then it just turned into like a uh, cookout, and that's it. Mm. So, yeah, that's I fair, mean, which yeah. is fine. It's just that we never really had personalized birthday stuff. I think when I was a lot younger. We may have had like a pool trip, like when we just went to the county pool. Oh but, yeah, yeah. Th- oh yeah, those are fun. Those are cool. It's always fun. Yeah, but I mean, that was also like when I was like seven. So right, <laughs> yeah. I, I I will say that I got lucky because uh, Hannah's birthday is nine days before mine. So every year we're just like, what do we want to do for our birthday? And we do something just cool, <laughs> like nice. every single year because it's for our birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did this sneaky thing where. Uh, me and my wife are getting married and they're like when do you want to do it I was like we could we could do it in september maybe the fourth so i never forget it because it's two days before my birthday <laughs> <laughs> oh actually now i'm thinking about it uh recent well recently being a couple of years ago um i was taken my girlfriend took me to the uh, Wolf Sanctuary in PA so that was fun oh, that's cool oh, that's so awesome that's so perfect for really you cool. Yeah, it took me a minute. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. That that was on my birthday. God, Did it, they it instantly like, run up to you and accept you as a member of the pack? Because they smelt the absolute animal that you are? <laughs> they, they, they and, then, and, then, and then Mark transformed into the, into the lycanthrope that he is. Uh, I wish. Oh, wait, oh. is that why we never record on full moons? So, all right, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut that out. <laughs> wait, all right, the sniper's getting on Tim right now. <laughs> wait, what's they that can't know. <laughs> this is now uh, the movie Underworld, and there's also syndicates going around now of vampires and werewolves, and Tim is going to be taken out. <laughs> so my most memorable birthday, um, this is just the one that comes off the top of my dome, mm-hmm. is... Uh, my mom typically made me a cake, so pretty blessed there. Hashtag blessed. Um, and my birthday present, she was like, she's like, okay, I can give you this. And she pulls out a Game Boy Advance. She's yeah. like, or you can wait two months and get the Game Boy Advance SP when it comes out. 
she's like, the choice is yours. Like, you can have this now, or mm-hmm. you can get the SP in two months. And she's like, I just thought I'd let you know because, you know, I don't want, I want you to make sure you get to choose what you want in case you wanted the, the newer one that came out. And I was like, ah, uh, uh, uh. But then once I found out that the SP had the backlit screen, yep. I was like, I was like, mom, take that right back to the store. Yep. And guess you what? You just grabbed it right out of her hands and threw it in the garbage. We've been inseparable <laughs> ever since. He is holding it up right that. now on this his camera, everyone. Yeah, my I, Game Boy Advance SP still have it to this day. I, I could we, we, genuinely we, run up to my room right now and grab mine. So, <laughs> me and Tim grew up together. We were childhood friends. Yeah. And I actually had another birthday. It was like in our friend group, we were all waiting for everybody get to to get the SP, mm-hmm. and you would just wait for your birthday, and then every single sleepover we had from then on out, we were all just playing Pokemon. Yep, it was. <laughs> it's part. It's a. It's a indelible part of my childhood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So wait, what, what game do you have in there right now, Tim? Uh, right now I have Pokemon Leaf Green. Oh, oh wow. very cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shoot, what's the... I have, fi- I have Fire thing? Red in mine right now. <gasps> Look at him. Look at Kel. <laughs> I have a... Right now in mine was a Mario game. Uh, it was a Mario Luigi game. The one about the beans. <gasps> Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. That's it. That's what oh. I got. <laughs> so like good. Tim came out fast. One, right? <laughs> so good. I love that game. <laughs> that was a that was an epic SP game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wasn't that like a turn-based one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Super weird story. What's the mechanic of I the mean, whole game? Standing on top of each other. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. Whole game. That's the mechanic. Yeah. That's the mechanic. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Kel, do you, do, you have a, do you have a birthday thing you can talk about? Otherwise, we'll move on to mine. <laughs> Why? Why do you have to go last? Anyway. Uh, what? Mine, uh... <laughs> My my birthday's August twenty sixth, so it was basically always the first day of school. Oh, and uh yeah. my brother's is June fourth, which was almost always the last day of school. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. So his birthdays at the end of the school year were always awesome because there was no more school left to do and everybody would just like goof off. When I had my birthday I was meeting new people and it had teachers who didn't care. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. So Wow. Yeah, we got two sad birthdays, Kelly and John. Are you John. sure you're not a character in a Mark Twain story? <laughs> <laughs> My birthday is always on the first day of cake. school, and every time, I, every school year, I didn't have anyone to tell me that tell me happy birthday. And Aww. even if they did, they didn't care. Well, happy belated birthday because it was not. Shut it was up not and that take the ago. syllabus, kid. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> See, even there, Jake tried to wish me happy birthday, and John tried to throw school at me. <laughs> I know. It was really, <laughs> like, the story of your Dream. life, Gil. You just <laughs> delving up year. all of my grade school trauma around my birthday. <laughs> at least I was the nice one of the scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, Kelly, is that why when I saw you on your birthday and I pulled, a, like, a pen out of my pocket, you kind of flinched, and I saw a bead of sweat drip down your face? <laughs> just immediately took a swing for him. <laughs> yeah. I, I spent that night crying myself to sleep. <laughs> wow I fully take partial responsibility for that <laughs> oh, alright Jake you gotta bring us home with some happy memories let's go let's go I think it was my 22nd birthday that all of us went to medieval times oh wow oh, yeah uh, and I, so I, it, maybe it was my 21st, my, my 21st or 22nd. All I remember is that I was really fucking drunk and it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how things should go at medieval times. No, it was, it was, it was great. We, we, we had, I remember that it was, it was me and like 10 of my friends or something like that. Like it was a whole crowd of us. And then the group in, uh, and then like we were, uh, I don't remember, were we the Black Knight that time? I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know what night we were, um, but I remember just having an absolute blast that time, and it was it was just it was incredible. Um, and then the best part was that uh, we made Kelly drive us home, so I didn't even have to. I didn't have to worry about anything. <laughs> oh, 
what what he didn't uh, also say is that he went in, on to the the grounds of medieval times and challenged one of the knights to combat because he was so drunk. <laughs> that would that would have been a, a way cooler scenario. I was just extremely drunk. <laughs> you would have pointed the sword at the king and said, "You are no king. <laughs> you are false." <laughs> and they would play I will take over this like, land. Oh, it's, just, it's this guy's birthday. Let him do it. And then you actually <laughs> shove the broadsword right to the man's chest. Like, ah! the, the doll broadsword. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's just how much Sorry. strength you have, Jake. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. You are now the king of medieval times. Heck yeah. Uh, it's Jake basically like, what happened to Caden Kellyan. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. Yeah, if, if, that, if that happened, me and Caden Kellyan would have uh, things in common. <laughs> the accidental uh, god of medieval times. <laughs> uh, you know who one person isn't going to have another birthday? And that's Hazel. Oh. Yeah. Is oh well is my is my phantasmal nightmare my birthday? Uh, yes, yes. Your, 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 your phantasmal nightmare will be standing up in front of the class, being like, "Hi, I'm Hazel, and today's my birthday." Everyone will be like, "I don't care. We don't know you." And then my pants are off, and then I'm you know getting hit with a tomato it's or a human pie school, or something. So it's weird. And John comes in and just like punches me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> just straight up runs up, just <laughs> adult John, not not child yeah. John at the age, at the appropriate age, fully yeah. fully grown up John, full, full grown John. <laughs> Got the Benson T-shirt on. <laughs> Who are you? What cool shirt you have? Uh. It's canon that Hazel's birthday is August twenty sixth or whatever the month there you is go. in uh, Galarian. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the 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 Galarian month, yeah. I think Hazel's actual nightmare, though, is realizing that she is forever going to be employees of Pip and Zarf. That's the phantasmal killer. <laughs> That's the yeah. It wasn't the hawk, like I said. It was. It's actually just the two of them getting bigger than her and going do our laundry. <laughs> they they turn into actual dragons, and it just upsets her. So much. Yeah, it makes her really mad. That is basically what's like being a competent employee in a corporation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> I mean, what, what level are Pippins are? Just like two, I th- right? Yeah, I was gonna say they're two or three. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, they, they were supposed to be. Like I said, they're supposed to be an encounter. Then they, they, yeah, they were, they were not. Um, so, a very so early, very is, early encounter. So what you're saying is, when Hazel dies, uh, Kelly has to take over level nine Pippins Arf, but they have to <laughs> run as a unit yes. together. Yes, yeah, it'll be yeah. Pippins Arf <laughs> in a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> it's the role for acrobatics checks you know, just to make sure they don't stumble you it's know what balance, it, the balance mechanic it wouldn't it wouldn't be impossible to run them as a sort of summon and summoner yes uh like eidolon and summoner thing yep. where they both have two actions <laughs> oh yeah shit you could just do act that. together <laughs> it'd be oh. possible but let's have daily dalian i need you kelly to make a will save all right, let me actually get Hazel's character sheet open because I have Kezra's open. Oh, uh, can't use it. Oh, actually, I, I don't know which one would be better. <laughs> Believe it or not. Uh, well, considering our main party's entire, like every party person in the party is dumps dad as Will. Yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> wisdom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okie dokie. So, Will save? Uh, yes, I need a very important Will save. And remember, I have used my hero point. I know. Ooh, it's a tweener. Uh huh. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. That is a fail. As long mm. as it's not a crit. <laughs> Luckily. So thank goodness it was not a critical fail. But you are still going to take eight d six mental damage, and you are now frightened two, which I think you were still frightened one, so it just goes up to two, if, if I remember correctly. Yep. So let me go ahead and roll eight d six mental damage. That is 30 points of mental damage. Mm. Big oof. Yeah, for real. As Hazel's mind is just racked with horrible images of bad birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> bad birthdays, Pip and Zarf and Doc. <laughs> All rolled into one. <laughs> Doc didn't her come to my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagine it's her in the Milwaukee expanse by that um, that gold pit area, the, the and it's just the charcoal, or just like, why, why, are, why are you expecting something? You're like, yeah, it's, uh, never mind. <laughs> it's fine. Like, it's, 
it's her expecting the cult to just constantly keep celebrating her birthday, but they never do. <laughs> All right. Well, that was uh, that, that was lucky. Um, I was. <laughs> I, I do have to expect that Kelly just rolls really bad at like really important moments. So I was like, I don't, I don't want Hazel to die, but man, oh. if the dice do it, they did. But the dice didn't. So we're Solid good. Ten on the die. Oh yeah. Um, all right. So that was the end of the bogeyman's turn. So, Demiri, it is your turn, and I will let you know that the um, fog here disappears. Oh, oh, completely. Yes, the oh, yeah. the, the, the fog, huge. the fog uh, from the from the from his pipe only lasts three rounds. <laughs> Jeez, that was a long three rounds. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, his yeah, his, his, his fat big. <laughs> did I tell you? Did I tell you what the item was called? Clouds. It's literally called a vaporous pipe. <laughs> <laughs> fat vape clouds. He's just ripping, ripping fat clouds, man. He, he does rip fat vape clouds. <laughs> <laughs> it smelled, smelled like a. Uh, what's that? Is it Cinnabon? <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. Cinnabon. Oh, I got a cavity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Demiri seeing this now sees this lanky tall mofo mm-hmm. uh, it's gonna uh, I was like oh I can oh, not flanking there uh, let me see here uh, she is going to take one move action here yeah, so you're hunt. stepping right up to his right side there hunt prey and she is going to do, do, do. what is it called Stab. Stab, yes. Oh, just um, stab she, uh, I th- For some reason, I thought I had something else. Oh, uh, twin takedown. So, mm. two melee weapons, each in a different hand, and combined for that. So, I have to roll roll with the rapier. So, she yep. strikes out. All right. Oh, shit. 16 on the die for 34. Uh, that is a hit. Beautiful. Um... Ugh. So, well, I mean, the damage isn't the best, but it's uh, 12 points of damage. Okay. Damage is damage and, at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's pretty solid. Um, but it's great because since she, he's my hunted prey, my flurry ability goes in. So while my first attack was a plus 18, my second attack is a plus 16. Very nice. Due to the... Yeah, it's kind of great. Uh, that's a miss, though. 23. Uh, yes, that will be a miss on the second attack, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but she uh-huh. just stabs right at him. Just. All right. Memory serves. This guy's AC was in the mid thirties. Yes. Says, uh, take this, you lanky old bastard. He snarls as you stab him in the leg, and he turns to you, uh, Chioma. It is your turn. Okay, Chioma is going to keep the inspiration going. It's like, Hark, friends, the battle is at hand. Its cat is dead. What more can it do to us? And uh, with that, going to do another piercing him. We killed the cat. We're definitely in phase two. (laughs) (laughs) His his HP bar goes all the way back up. (laughs) Oh, hold on. (laughs) Uh, so another piercing, discordant hem erupts from Chioma's mouth. And a miss. Because I'm using this dice, and I put this dice in timeout last time. Oh, and yes. it needs to go back in timeout. As I try another discordant hem with a minus five. That one, that one just did not learn this lesson. No. Looks like you didn't learn either. Um, 25, 26, I'm assuming is a miss. Uh, yes, that will be a miss. Uh, uh, I need Demiri and Chioma to uh, make me will saves at the beginning of your turn, by the way. Is this auditory uh, by uh, chance? It is not. This is aura, emotion, fear, illusion, mental, and visual. Illusion. Uh, 32. That, uh, that is a very success. Good, oh, very good roll. Yep. Uh, um, so you, you are you are actually good, so you don't have to roll it ever again. And wait, oh, I shit. think I already had that, right? Didn't I have? Oh, the... did you? Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, no, that's fine. I um, got thirty though. 
Uh, that is a success, so you would have passed anyway. Um, Alright, so regardless of that, you guys are safe from that for now. Uh, Hazel, it is your turn. <coughs> Alright, Hazel is pretty scared. Uh, and she's like looking to the goblins and just kind of looking at the exit. And then she's like, uh, now. And she pulls out a wand. And, uh, actually, shit, I can't do that. Um, never mind. Oh, do me a favor first. Do, do, the, do the will save first uh, from his aura. Because that has been at the beginning of each of your turns. Uh, 26. Uh, that is a fail. So that is actually you... a 27 because of Inspire Courage. Uh, still a fail. So. <laughs> Uh, it just says uh, creature's frightened condition does not reduce as long as the creature remains in the air. Okay, so oh, you're frightened too right now because of that. Yeah, anyway, I was, so it I does was not... already frightened by this effect. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Then, all right. Then go and continue. All right. Um, Hazel will draw a wand. Okay. And then uh, she's like ready to use it, but she's like freaked out because <laughs> she's like double scared. And she turns to the goblin next to her, and she's not very good at diplomacy, but she is good at intimi- she is decent at intimidation. And she is going to demoralize this goblin and be like, "What the hell are you still doing here? Flee, get to safety, or we'll all die in vain." And I'm going to roll. Yeah, so let's to make the hostages afraid of us. <laughs> I, I, uh, I hate to say, John, but that is exactly what Hazel did all her life: <laughs> was to be in charge yeah. of things that were scared of her. Um, um, I think unfortunately, they know was fear. Hazel is a little too scared to be intimidating, and only got a 17. Uh, well, luckily these are uh, very; <laughs> these are level one, or well, I'm not going to say level one, but they're they're uh, the lowest level possible on goblins, goblin warriors. Uh, so their will DC is, that is still a success. Um, so they are <laughs> intimidated by you. So that so that one is going to uh, move over to his friends on the other side. Ah! It's, it, it, he he looks at you for a second, like, "Oh, good, she's here to rescue me." And then you yell at her, and then you yell at him, <laughs> and he's like, "Ah!" <laughs> um, okay, and with my last action. I will. Shoot, I will toss a. Uh, does this guy have persistent damage on him yet? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, I will throw a acid flask. All right. Quick bomber. Sh- Shitty roll. <laughs> Hazel needs to start producing this fight. That's a mess. Tw- Twenty-one. Uh, uh, yep, that is that is a critical fail, actually. All right, then ah. he does. He takes no splash damage. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, uh, I'm, hey, Jake. I'm sorry to, to interrupt again. Um, what? So the the aura, his or his frightening aura. Yes. Is that visual at all? Does that have the visual? It is, tr- it is visual. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, can I use my reaction to do a counter performance? It's one of my spells. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, sure. D- d- is that d- that works against visual things too? It's, yeah, your performance protects you and your allies. It's a an, you're an ally within sixty feet rolls a saving throw against an auditory or visual effect. So what I can do is I can roll a okay. performance check to try to counter the the frightening. Okay, so now here here's the thing is that. Oh, okay. So you're 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 hoping to you're hoping to help Hazel get rid of her frightened her frightened condition. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Uh, if you want to wait till next turn, that's totally fine, or until someone else rolls it, because I understand we're long past it. But I just want to let, let it be known in case. Does my frightened well, condition he, he, from, he, the fan, from the phantasmal killer go down like normal? Uh, that one should 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 go. Uh, no, actually, a creature's frightened condition does not reduce as long as the creature remains in the aura. So that's like all cumulative. If, if you get frightened, you just get yes. frightened or cannot yeah. go down. That's cool. Yep. That's rough. Yeah. Wow. I man, this is such a cool creature. <laughs> it, yeah, it really is. 
It's got some uh, good stacking right. abilities, and I like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so in that case, um, uh, is that the end of your turn, Hazel? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lionel, it is your turn. All right, well, now that Lionel can actually see, she is just going to... Uh, if only Does I'd Lionel reach. have to make that will save? I made it in the beginning. Uh, I, she, yeah, oh, she, okay. she, she did almost immediately. Gotcha, gotcha. Lionel will move up, knowing that her cold iron short sword was very effective against him last turn. She is going to lead with that attack, but she is going to do... What's the name of the attack? Double slice. So if she can do two attacks at once. Does a... 36 hit. Uh, that does hit, yeah. And All flanking. Right. Uh, we, yeah, so it, when, we, it does not make it a crit, but still, no, still, still, a, still a, a solid hit. Grab my dice here. Uh, I was totally ready for this. <laughs> I can tell. Okay. And that is the first one. <laughs> minimal damage for the first shot. Oh, no. So that makes it nine points of slashing damage. Hate to see right. it. Was this with the cold iron? was with the cold iron. Okay. And Plus one. For part. The second strike. You want me to send you a picture, Jake? Or she would just want to trust me that was a natural 20. Uh, I trust you, buddy. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Heck yeah. Woo-hoo. That's, Ooh, that's oh how man. we play every game. This is it. We get into this... the worst situation possible. Yeah. We make the worst that's decisions, right. but then we just crit our way to success. <laughs> <laughs> crit our way to success. We should write a book. <laughs> or crit your way into failure, which is always funny. Yeah. <laughs> that oh, was... Man. No, okay. You got a card, and it's an interesting one. All right. Okay. It's called right. Delayed Wound. Normal Damage. The target takes the same amount of damage at the end of its next two turns. Oh, yeah, so it's a times cool. three. That's awesome. That's an incredible crit. Wow, okay. That's so cool. So that means it's over the course of its next two turns, it will take... So 14 damage on the strike. So Okay. All right, so, oh, he, so he takes 14 now, and then and then he'll take another 14 at the end of his two turns. turns. Yeah, next two turns. And it, oh my god, next two turns. Holy crap, yeah. okay. That's an it's incredible actu- crit. It's actually 15 because of because of Bard. 15? Courage. 15. Ah, okay then. All right. That's <laughs> incredible. End of his next um, two that turns. was, I still, have, I still have an action. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see here. I guess, you know what? Just got to swing again. You don't have flints? And I what? Do you not have flints? Mm. I, I I did I did not build build uh, herb with flints. Oh, what's flints do? It's if Jay, you make you two, here? if you if you make two successful strikes with your double slice, you just get to do automatic damage. Ah. It's so sick, but ah. yes, because I need to do even more damage. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I, uh, the, I I built I built Lionel with a. Uh, Lots of personality involved uh, with with, the, with, the, yeah, with her. So, <laughs> uh, that's a natural seven on the dice. So that's probably going to be a miss. Uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a miss. Um, okay. Uh, all right. Is that the that's the end of your turn? It is the end of my turn. All right. So uh, he feel, he reeling from that attack, but you do see that he does continue to heal. Hmm. Oh, so the cold iron doesn't stop his healing. Uh, no, that is I. That might be just a one e thing, but no, mm. he is, he he does he has weakness to cold iron, but oh, um, gotcha. so I probably don't see compensated anything. for his healing for the next three rounds with that crit. <laughs> yes, yeah. he did. That is, that is that is the big part here. Um, in which case, he is going to do two things. Um, he's going to move here Bad. to get to the other side of Chioma. No, excuse me. There's a fighter standing next to, right next to him. Oh yes, I will get in. Man, that's really me. funny. I have mobility, so. <laughs> Why do you really take Jake? the fun out of everything, you asshole? <laughs> <laughs> What's the ability? 
Uh, mobility is when the bogeyman uses a stride action to move half their speed or less. That movement does not trigger reactions. Boo. Wow. Boo. Boo. So he sort, of, he sort of gangly walks away from you, and right. you sort of swing out, but he, like, ducks. Whack. What's his move speed? His move speed is 30. Ah. Oh. Yeah. What's his AC and health while you're at it? Wow. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 he moved 15 Keep asking feet. him questions. 15 feet exactly. Yep. <sighs> that's a really good ability. That's, yep. that's unreal. Uh, so, um, even then, I mean, the, 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 he, he, just, he just wanted to get as far as he possibly could away from, uh, from, uh, <laughs> Lionel while also getting to the angel. Um, <laughs> not the angel. Uh, and then he's going to do something in which he is going to cast a spell. Uh, so he's going to cast fear. So he stands up and he sort of almost appears next to you, Chioma, uh-huh. and all of a sudden he gets get, he gets really, really tall and his eyes glow, and he goes, "The soul of an angel must be delicious." <laughs> ah, and his voice echoes out. Uh, I need everyone to make a will save. Everyone. Yep. No, I have such a massive bonus to this. <sighs> oh, wait a second. Mm-hmm. This is an audit. Is this auditory? This is emotion, enchantment, fear, mental, occult. Ah, so this oh, does nice. not have. Dang. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, let's. Uh, yo, yo, Tim, what was your rule say? Uh, got a twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. That is a fail. So I you had are a fra- plus twenty to oh, this wow. save. Wow. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was a crap roll. Uh, so you're a frightened too. I hate it. <laughs> I hate uh, it. Going, going down the line, or oh wait, uh, in, in order closest to farthest, uh, Demiri, what was yours? Uh, 29. 29. That is a regular success, so you are frightened one. Uh, okay. Lionel? I also got a 29. Uh, success, so you are frightened one. Um, and oh, actually, Hazel, no, I don't with the, the Cadence Elixir, it would have been a 30. Uh, okay, so it'd still be a regular success, okay. though. I but, forgot yeah. that. Yeah, um, and then Hazel, I don't think that you can go any... It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't stack, does it? It doesn't, like, uh, add on to it. No, I, I mean, I got 24, a regular fail, so... If I, I think if you critical fail, you get a frightened 3, right? Uh, yeah, so you just get a regular fail, which is yeah, just frightened, frightened too. So yeah, same I'm just frightened too. Um, okay, then. Uh, that is his turn. He scares the bejesus out of Chioma. Um, does, does, does a little bit here or there with some fear, and it comes to Demiri, Gotasha's turn. Yeah. Moving over, because I definitely want that flank bonus. Um... She can get. Uh, she's going to move uh, over here. All right. Around. Gonna flank him with Chioma. Uh, let's see here. So she is going to first then work with uh, another twin takedown. All right. So she's going to strike out. All right. Come on. Rapier. Oh, um, that's a 19 on the die on that one. Ooh. Oh, 37 the hit. Uh, that is a that's regular hit still. I was about to say no, no shot. That's a crit. By the way, did you take 14 damage at the end of your turn? Or 15? 15. 15. Oh, I did not. So thank you for reminding me. He's like, why am I bleeding? <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. He's like, what? What happened? No, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a delayed wound. Like he got cut, and then he moved, and his cut just like ripped open more for some reason. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's gruesome. Uh, you, you can you can see this like smoke and spirits like pouring out of his side. Let's see, that's, that's 15, 15 points of damage. Uh, okay. And then now with the main gosh, gosh, main gosh. I don't know how you pronounce that. Oh, 16, 16 points of damage. Uh, got it. And the next one is a 29 hit. 
29. That'll be a miss. Uh, it's actually a 30 to hit because of Inspire Courage. 30 to hit? Flanking? That is a hit because of flanking. <laughs> very yeah. nice, very nice. Tim, way to stay on top of those buffs. I know. <laughs> and that's an R12 point of damage. Is that I'm, with I'm the plus at, one? <laughs> I was going to say, I was looking at Tim to see if he goes 13, actually. 13 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't edit. <laughs> and... For uh, the hell of it, she's going to look over to uh, Lionel and just wink, but the wink doesn't really work because it's only she only has one eye, so it's like a blink instead. <laughs> Lionel sees this and understands. Yeah. Oh. That. <laughs> I got you, sis. I got you. I got, I got you. Like, she's trying. She's like, oh, wait, that didn't work. But um, then she is going to give Lionel uh, Warden's Boon a flurry, so... That means, like, instead of negative, uh, well, you'll, you have short swords, right? So Yeah, they're versatile. Well, they're, are they agile? I believe they are. Yep. Yeah, yep. so you should have a negative three instead of uh, negative four. That's Whoa. so good. <laughs> My gosh. For, this t- for uh, your turn, so. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah just for your turn. For about but, five uh, years when we get to my turn. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Uh, uh, right, uh, Chioma, it is your turn. You are you are scared to be unbelief. Chioma is going to cast this very special spell called Remove huh. Fear. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> On who? Sounds like you're cheating. On me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm scared. I need to get rid of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I failed again. It's a counteract check, and my spell level is three, so keep that in mind. Okay. So if his, his fear his, is his my fear level, level or five. lower, <laughs> his fear is level five, he said. Yeah, he had he cast it on all of us. It's heightened to fifth. Um, so, oh, that stinks. So <laughs> that means I have, to, I have to actually succeed it. Yeah. Uh, wait, no, sorry, no, it's no, it's just, uh, no, it's just heightened third. <gasps> I got a 26. Oh, so then, then you're good? Yeah, if I fail, then I'm good. Oh. Right, okay. Cal? Because I meet the, I meet the spell level. Wait, uh, you succeeded? Oh, no, I failed with a 26, but my spell level is the same as the effect right so, so that would mean that turn it to yeah. a success uh maybe uh, <laughs> alright sorry I was, so hard. I was looking at something I, else I, I believe that I, I believe yeah, that, uh, that, uh, that that is true but no no with, with a failure to counteract it if, it, if it's a level if the level is lower than your effect Oh, it has to be. It has to be lower. Okay. Yeah. Success is no more than one higher. Um. Oh. So I did fail. they change so fear? Fail? I thought okay. I always thought fear was a fifth level height. Did they like errata that? Maybe they buffed it. Um. I mean, I'm looking in Foundry. Um. So no, I'm looking at Archives and the... It says third, but I always. Uh, I, I could have sworn that was a fifth level height. I wonder if they sure. routed that to make it more useful. That's awesome. I mean, they did. I mean, you, that's a great they, they, yeah. Yes, yes. I was I was very happy when I read it. I was like, ooh, that's fun. that's that's nice. I like the Titan. Uh, uh, all right. Are you doing anything else with your turn, Shelma? Uh I have one more action, and I think I think I'm actually just going to keep the inspire courage going. All right. Because. I mean, it's already come in clutch so many times. Yep. Be like, well, my friends, keep up the fight. We'll surely get him, even though I have such a fright. (laughs) 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 That's why he just hits. (laughs) Greatest hits of Chioma. (laughs) <laughs> he just starts hand, uh, they just start handing out CDs. <laughs> oh, you touched you the, you the, you oh, s- you still use it, these, right? If this wasn't uh, proof enough that you need to play a bard, you need to play a bard. <laughs> well, he, he has. Like, yeah, I have. But I, I went the wrong route with that bard. I went with uh, sp- spoken word poetry. <laughs> oh, right. Know, what you're saying is he poetry. needs to play a bard in a show people actually watch. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. And he's, and we have a whole YouTube channel, sing. by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hazel, it is your turn. 
All right, Hazel is going to turn and yell at the other goblin next to him. <laughs> the next closest <laughs> goblin to her. <laughs> and be like, All right. What the hell are you doing? You need to run, not just cower. <laughs> Uh, whoo, that's a critical success. Natural 19. <laughs> uh, definitely a critical success, yeah. Uh, okay, then he will run his full compliment. Nice. And then she will... Maybe will just, like, bump into the other one, and they all start running. Uh, um, and he, he runs away. Cool. And then Hazel will... Shit, how far away am I? Does Hazel uh, have to make that will save again? Uh, it doesn't go... Let's see. So, this ability says... No, because if you fail, you just become frightened one. There's no critical failure even. So. Gotcha, okay. So, yeah, it's, it's honestly, it, honestly, it's just to get the frightened one on you and to make it never go away. Because mm. as, long as, you're, as long as you're in the R, it just doesn't go away, so... All right, and she will step a little closer and launch uh, another acid flask. That will surely do something. I mean, nothing is certain. Damn, John. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I will on his it birthday. Will, <laughs> uh, it will not do anything because I missed again with a natural seven. So oh, that will okay. be. <laughs> That'll be uh, 24. <laughs> uh, 24, that is... Uh, that's not a... Uh, that, that's just a regular miss, so... Um, All so right, well, th- you th- take th- he'll, two he'll... acid splash. Two Three. acid splash. You have no Three. idea how badly I wanted those two points to actually kill this thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> please, <laughs> let an acid splash kill this fucking thing. <laughs> Uh, alright. So, uh, is that the end of your turn, Hazel? Yeah, it's the end of my sad, pathetic turn. <laughs> sad, pathetic turn. Uh, Lionel. Well, I'm going to do a very sophisticated movement where I come back. <laughs> I'm going to go, angels are immortal, right? And stab right through them. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move over to where I can get an attack off. I never expect one right through the enemy, through an ally. I don't know. <laughs> and first swing. Oh, not good. Twenty-six. Uh, that'll be a miss. All right, next one. Um, thirty. Uh, that is a miss. Uh, he, he, you are, you do not gain the flanking bonus because you're not with, technically within flanking. So is but it 31? thirty-one? Because of inspire courage. <laughs> thirty-one. Uh, still a miss. <sighs> okay. Le- oh no! I can't even do another action. What a garbage turn from Lionel. <laughs> so, the bogeyman, seeing you all uh, surround him, is going to uh, back up again. And he's going to... Let me make sure that I measure this out. So this could be 5, 10, 15, Can I get my 20. attack of opportunity this time, or are you just... Uh, no, he is sp- going... No, you let, him, you let him finish the movement, then you say you strike him. Because <laughs> now he's only going to move 15 feet. Uh, yeah, so he's going to move... All right, so he's going to move here, which is uh, 15 feet. So you do not get it off. Ah, John, you're 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 too anxious. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I knew be... I knew I could only move half. Oh, you um, did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, and then he is going to start casting a spell, and as he's casting a spell, he goes, "Children, help me! D- D- Daddy needs you." I don't like that sentence that just came out of his mouth. <laughs> and uh, some of his children that you probably didn't see were watching from a distance come crawling up over the wall. Gross. And he turns into a gaseous form. Oh, Oh, shit. How long is this fight? (laughs) Jake's going for a four-parter. He still takes 15. (laughs) I'm not. He's still taking that 15 damage. (laughs) 
Yep. <laughs> yes, oh. he is, yeah. <laughs> that killed him. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I did think about that. I was like, oh, can I actually just form get rid of that? I'm like, it's a crit. No, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> Uh, all right, let me roll for these bugaboos. They have such kind of adorable names, but I'm just... It is it is very funny that they're called bugaboos and bogeys and bogeyman, and they're like some of the most horrifying things you've ever seen in existence. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that was the bogeyman's turn. He is going to take his last bit of... How much? 15 points of damage? Yep. All uh, right. Okay, so that was that. Uh, he does that. Okay. Um, Demir, it is your turn. Okay. Yeah, so once again, this long legged bastard. Because just try, she's just like getting fed up with it. Like, of this. You know, just this. Like. like I'm trying to think of like he's uh, he's a fae, correct? Like, yep, they are fae creatures. He is. But it's yep. kind of like weirdly eldritch, like with how these they are, like the long legs. It's probably like a disjointed walking, like animation that he has and all that stuff. And she's just getting annoyed because she also feels this fear constantly in the back of her head. Like, yeah, this is something. And so she's getting fed up. She's just going to stride over. Or actually, no. Uh, I have an ability for this. Hmm. Um, this is an ability uh, for from her called uh, Skirmish Strike. So he is within stepping distance, and yep, I can good. step and attack with one action. Whoa. So she's just going to quickly move over. And just, oh, you think you can get away? Uh, I'm gonna use my hero point. <laughs> that was a natural one. Oh, yes, okay. use that, right. please. <laughs> Anything's better. <laughs> uh, that is a 32 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Beautiful. Damage. <sighs> Almost minimum. Uh, nine points of damage. Uh, okay then. Uh, which that sounds like nothing went through. <laughs> um, ten, ten points, points of damage. damage. <laughs> so dead. only a little bit went through. <laughs> okay. And the big so oof. for her second action, she's going to do a twin takedown. Okay. So, but this time she's just going to use the the mind gulch, uh, just because of the um, ability for flurry. Uh, so that is a thirty. Wow, thirty-two again. Uh, we have another hit. Okay. Uh, 10 points of damage. Or 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Okay. All right. Uh, They're learning, uh, okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're learning. <laughs> And at the lowest map, uh, that's a mess. Uh, okay. And so as her final action, she is going to use a... Gun. Yeah, she's just going to put out a Glock. <laughs> And just shoot this thing. <laughs> uh, now just screams, twin- She's got a gun. Just stabs her. <laughs> it's a gun knife. <laughs> gun knife. Uh, use twin parry. Uh, so since wielding two melee weapons, uh, because one has to parry attribute, it uh, gives a plus two to my AC. I love this. Oh, uh, very cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, next, it comes to the bugaboo's turn. So the bugaboo that is directly uh, it's about 15 feet from you, I think, Tamiri. Mm-hmm. Uh, 20 feet from you. Um, it is going to cast a spell. Mm-hmm. I need you to make a... Uh, let's say this is... Will. Uh, this is going to be a... Uh, I believe it's a fortitude save, in fact. Oh, I mean, it's not my worst save, so... Why can't you ever do fortitude saves on uh, no, my it's turn, a will, It is a will save. It's a, it's a will save, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Okay. I rescind my complaint. Is it, s- <laughs> <laughs> is it sonic or auditory? It is... Neither of those. Oh. Is it visual? No, it's not visual. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, tw- Carry on. 28. <laughs> 
28, that is, that is a success. Uh, so you are only stunned one. Oh. oh. Uh, Gross. And not fully paralyzed. Oh. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> huh. Stunned one. Uh, right. And then it will move up to engage with you next. Um, it is the next Bugaboo's turn, because they both rolled uh, at the exact same time. Um, uh, in which case, it is going to walk up. Uh, let me see the range on that same spell. 30 feet. So it just needs to get within 30 feet of Lionel. So it gets about here. Uh, and then, so it gets, it moves up closer to Lionel, and then it is going to cast the same spell on you, Lionel, so Mickey will save. Okay. Um, uh, points up, will save. Yep. Tim, give me 17 plus 16. 33. Uh, that is a critical success, so you are completely unaffected. That was really good. Runs up and casts the spell. Lionel just points to me and goes, Stop! Stop! Come out, <laughs> small children. Get away. I've already killed three of you tonight. Don't make me go to four. <laughs> <laughs> I will kill more children. <laughs> I love killing children. The younger the better. <laughs> you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody wonders why I don't go further into my studies of religion. I just love killing children. <laughs> Can't put it down. Uh, Chiyama, <laughs> it is your turn. Okay. This fighter just said, let's kill the children. <laughs> uh, Chioma is going to ignore that. Uh, wow. And chalk it up to, wow. you know, a quip. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just those, that humor that Chioma just doesn't quite understand. <laughs> Uh, so they are going to a human humor, oh. you know. <laughs> so is it human, that mortal humor? Being an a-, a literal angel in this game, meaning you can like you know the fourth wall. Chiom <laughs> 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 so is going to uh, inspire courage again. Be like, look, Lionel, children for you to kill. Ha ha! Let's get them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and does a wink. I guess they don't teach you sarcasm at angel school. <laughs> I, I'm doing a humor. <laughs> I'm doing a humor. Um, surprisingly, everyone feels encouraged by that. Don't know why. <laughs> Can I resist? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, I'm going to do a piercing him against... The boogeyman, because we we need to we need to take this boogeyman out. Like, mm-hmm. all right. That's all I'm trying to say. We need to take it. Seems out. like a nice guy. <laughs> uh, a, a thirty. Uh, that is a miss. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Let me see how close it is to 31. me. Okay. If it's within my aura, it is within my aura. A 31. It's still a mess, bud. Uh, what about your uh, courage? I, uh, let me try. I think you could sum up yeah, the entirety of Pathfinder already. 2E by going, if I add a 1 to my roll, will it hit? <laughs> <laughs> no, I already added that uh, one, oh, okay. regretfully. Okay, so that's uh, one action, one action. You know what? I'm just going to attack one of the little bugaboos. <laughs> Just because I have a lower to hit you're now, gonna, so gonna get that bugaboo. <laughs> I'm gonna attack the one that's within my aura, my harmonizing aura. Uh-huh. So like the the boogeyman and the bugaboo, they both like when they enter into this aura, it's just like a oh, they're like, what is that beautiful music? I hate it. <laughs> oh, that twenty baby. Oh nat my 20, god. Let's oh, go. my. <laughs> oh my. Of course. Of course. Uh, this is your, this is your, this is a, your singing. It's magical, right? Yeah, so it's, it's ranged magical. I feel Sonic. like you were doing the, the, the regular, like, oh, and then you just immediately go up into a metal screen, like, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is kind of a lame, this is kind of a lame one, but it works because you're singing at them. Distraction. Okay. The target is flat footed until the end of its next turn. Huh. So you yes. distract him with your beautiful singing. Oh, your Do I beautiful get double damage at least? Yeah, you get double damage. That is yeah, the yeah, shittiest magical crit I've ever heard. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the lamest one, but whatever. Uh, I, I mean, uh, how, how appropriate, though? That yeah, it is, it is. Distracted by a beautiful ear piercing screaming. <laughs> Sorry, so much damage. <laughs> oh, so you look upset. 36 points of damage. Oh. And not only are they uh, distracted and flat-footed, they're also deafened for a minute. <laughs> they're also de- I forgot about that part. <laughs> yep. So that means they won't be able to hear any commands from Daddy. That's right. Oh, I hate it when people say that word like that. It makes me very Command me, Daddy. <laughs> no orders from Daddy. Daddy, I can't hear you. Daddy. I feel like just by hearing that word like that, I'm already on like a police hit list or something. <laughs> yeah. It's just, John just, I, I can't. It throws his headphones down. <laughs> Time to go to my cabin in the woods that no one knows about for a while. <laughs> and away from these people to save daddy like that. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Hazel, it is your turn. Alright, Hazel with the wand in her hand, she does, she will try, attempt to activate it. She, she holds it in front of her and she kind of like hits it, oh, hits it a couple times. Alright. Like, Get it this time. She points it towards it, and I'm going to do my Arcana check to see if I activate it. Yep. Uh, nailed it. All right. So now my attack roll. The wand. acid arrow. Uh, mm. I was hoping it was a wand of water. <laughs> Ooh. Is it a damp stick? The natural 19. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So that will be 37. Uh, that is definitely going to be a hit. Oh, yeah. Acid. All right. And this is a special acid arrow. So first I'll give you the damage, which is 3d8 acid. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I rolled a three and a one and a three. Uh. So, cool. Uh. Oof. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so seven acid damage. <laughs> All right. Um, Eight. Eight. Eight acid damage. Eight acid damage. <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. Um, <laughs> you'll take 1d6 persistent acid damage on your turn. Okay. Uh, and you are, because this is a wand of noise, noisome acid, uh, you are also sickened. I don't know if that's a word. Until the and. and you're sickened until the uh, ac- persistent acid is removed. Oh, uh, okay. Damn, quite good. Yeah. All right. Sickened until it's removed. Okay. All righty then. Um, after Hazel, it comes back to Lionel. All right. Since Lionel don't care about no kid trying to attack her, um, why am I in control of Marks and my character? You have to like deselect them. Yeah, if you hit escape or if you hit D, I think actually it. I think, I think that. Nope, nope. <laughs> oh no, he's controlling the boogeyman. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, not doing anything. All right, wait, wait, wait. Where are you trying to move? Can you just ping? Yes. Um. Right. Right there. Okay. Ooh. I can't ping for some reason. Everything's uh, just if going you press wrong. And hold. If you press and hold, that, that, that pings. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, all right. So you move up to a. So you are now in between one of the new bo- one of the uh, one of the bugaboos and the bogeyman. Yep. And I'm going to mm. attack, and it's not going to matter that I'm currently flat-footed because I'm going to kill in this round. Definitely going to do that. Definitely going to do that. Does a Straight 29 hit as flat-footed? Yeah. Uh, no, it does not hit a slight foot. Wait, 30? What about a 30? <laughs> a 30 does hit a slight foot. Yeah. God bless you, Tim. I, the second I was like 29, well, that's a miss. And I just looked at Tim's camera with hope. <laughs> okay. Just stared at Timmy's camera. Yeah. Come on, man. It's like I'm staring straight into the sun. You remember the words, you remember the words of Chioma about there being children to kill. <laughs> <laughs> that brought you good. Right, the children. <laughs> uh, very good on the first damage die. That is going to be um, 17 points of damage. Sure. Oh, okay. The uh, next right. one, because I'm using my dual strike. Eight, do you mean 18 points of damage? 18 points of damage. 
18 points of damage. Okay. Um, do I still have the bonus from... Uh, oh, no. No, no it was just one. Boon. 34. It only lasts for a turn. 34. Uh, that is it. Very, very nice. It's not like you need it. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, 16. I mean, the main reason to... Uh, wait, 16 points of damage? Yes, the first one was the cold oh. iron. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, they already calculated that in. I assume the cold iron was the first and one. And that is uh, all of right. my moves. 16 points of damage, got it. Okay. All right, it comes to the bogeyman's turn. Uh, the bogeyman is going to... Die? <sighs> no, he's not. Um, he is, in fact, going to... Uh, he, th- he thought that Gashi's form would help him more, but it did not. Um, in which case, he's going to dismiss it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that HP. I, I don't think there's an HP thing with that. No. Hmm. No, there's not. Um, no, it's the movement that he wants. Oh, if I remember correctly with Gashi's form, because I remember wanting to take this, that you can't do a lot of stuff to uh, yes, that that was that, that was the main thing. Um, all right, and then he is going to move, and it's fifteen feet right up to Chioma. <laughs> Stand Stop still! Stop screaming at my children! <laughs> st- <laughs> st- stop! Stop! Hammer time! Stop killing my Ow. children! Stop killing my children! Uh, and he's going to reach out and strike you with a claw. <laughs> I thought you were an angel. Uh, it's going to be a thirty-two to hit. Yes. It's going to be 23 points of slashing damage. Oh, That's so much damage. Oh, man. Right, Choma's looking pretty messed up. It's okay, you're immortal. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Remember, like, he's literally second. if Choma dies, they just go back to the to go back to Nirvana. And it's just like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Golly gee. My flesh, it burns. <laughs> Uh, Demary, it is your turn. Okay. Um, Demary is just going wait, to... Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Uh, take persistent damage. Yep. Oh, uh, yes. I will take persistent damage. One persistent damage. Excellent. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and you can roll uh, your flat check. Uh, oh, yes, the flat check. I always forget about the flat check. 18. Um, wow. Demary, it is your second. turn. <laughs> the brain is your turn. You look over and you see the bogeyman scratch uh, Chioma across the face, and, and you, you you see his claws getting uh, drinking up so, some of some of this angel blood. Mm. Okay, uh, Mary is just going to take a step and use that um, strike ability to mm-hmm. step and strike. And hands off the angel. Let's see here. Oh, God. Uh, 30? Uh, only because you are flanking with Shiona. 31, do you, actually. Do you, do you hit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 13 points of damage. All right. You stab him in the side. Okay. Is that with the plus one mark? What did I say then? What was that, 13? You said 13. Uh, 14 then. So 14, yes, yes. Okay. And he died. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm mostly just going, I know it's going to be an additional one every time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting about it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. And <laughs> Jake does it. <laughs> Jake's on top of this. I one. remember. Uh, so, and then going to use twin takedown. All right. Uh, is twin takedown one action? One action. Wow. It's kind of like uh, Victoria is, Blows. But it's the problem very is, good. That's amazing. But the problem at this point is that I am at my map, using my map right now. So, yep. eh, you kind of just have to roll with it. Oh, crap. That, I didn't want to roll damage. Stop. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I... Uh, what's that? 35 to hit, actually. Uh, yeah, that, that'll Damn, be it. Nice. 
Yeah, no, the rapier's doing wonders right now for me. Oh, mm, minimal, da almost minimal, nine damage. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, and, and then the second one? Yeah, uh, I mean, I should be combining these for a total of DR and all that. Oh, well, that's true, but, uh, well, th 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 he doesn't have a, he doesn't have resistance or anything like that, so. And my last strike, which is a plus 14 still. <laughs> yep. Whoa. <laughs> uh, which is a 27, so that's a mess. 27, that uh, is going to be a miss. Um, and he, she's going to activate uh, the parry ability again. Ah, uh, okay. so you were stunned one, weren't oh. you? Oh, you were. Frick. Yeah. So you have more tunes. Do a tune. But yeah, so that's uh, two did. actions. Cool. Uh, you know what, Tim? I'm going to give you a hero uh, uh, point that you can only use in episode 100. Oh, wonderful! Thank you. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for playing by the rules. Hey, look at that! <laughs> Who says it doesn't pay off? Dude, a cheater. <laughs> It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a Chioma Chioma hero point. Oh, um, yeah. The deaf bugaboo's turn is going to come up behind you, Demiri, and it is uh, now flanking with with Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Flank me, Daddy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to say it. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Uh, see, the, I, what I what I want is I want you guys to hate this enemy so much. <laughs> I should be the sure only one that does. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Chioma has no pr no problem killing these fiendish children. Of course not. Yeah. Uh, this is so with flanking that is going to be a thirty to hit. Ah, uh, that hits. All right. Uh, 19 points of slashing damage. Yell? Yeah. yeah, that hurt. Mm. And then second one, it was a multiple attack. Uh, 13. Wow. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> that's a mess. No. <laughs> I was going to say, what, what a range. <laughs> 30 to a 13. Yeah. 30 to a 13. really get both ends of the spectrum in the show. <laughs> really, this, this, bug, this bugaboo <laughs> knows, knows how, to, how to just give and take. Just um, trying to remember, I have the roll saved, don't I, for that? Uh, for the don't they, for stunned? Well, don't they? Uh, God, I thought it was like the other. No, that that, that was only on a crit, actually. So I don't know mm. if if it, I I know I know it did. I know one of the other ones did crit, but yeah, it, oh, it's only okay. on a crit that that happens. I, I so. thought they had like ability every time they struck. Okay. Nope, nope, uh, no. They, they do have a thing, but it's only on a crit. So okay. uh, the other bugaboo, the one that is not uh, deafened, is going to strike out at you, Gasp. Lionel. No, you, you'll never hurt Daddy. Uh, 32 to hit. <laughs> yeah, I'll hit. 16 points of slashing Ow. damage. Uh, second attack for a 23. Nope. And last attack for an 18. Nope. Okay. This is why we need and counselors in schools. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was actually recently talking to uh, my regular Monday group how I did peer mediation in high school. Hmm. Uh, it turns out teenagers are fucking awful to each yeah, other. Yeah, horrible. <laughs> my grandfather, uh, he was a high school teacher. He taught one year of middle school, and he was like, that was the darkest shit I've ever been through. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, all right, um, Chioma, it is your turn. I'm going to blast this bogey with a piercing. Well, first I'm going to I'm going to be like, "All right, friends, let's keep going. We will do this." Go. But I am dying. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm not at really. death's door. Little do you know that if you don't die in the mountains of heaven, you go straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> the purest angel. Uh. <laughs> so piercing him uh. wafts over the bogey and I'm gonna use my hero point because that's a natural Ooh, one that's <laughs> Look what at that. you got him for uh, okay D dice is going to the side <laughs> how many dice do you have in dice I'm, Joe, bud? 
I'm losing. I'm losing D20s <laughs> left and right, Jake. Come on. It's a repeat offender Daddy system. Needs a new pair of shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's just, I just, whenever I try to hit the bogey, I just roll absolute garbage. So even with the hero point, it's still a miss. It's a four on the die. Oh. Yep. <sighs> it's like, it. well, maybe I should just hit the little bogey again and roll an at 20. <laughs> <laughs> again. All right, all right, baby bogey. Let's 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 dance. Are you going after the bugaboo, or are you going after the bogeyman? Bug bugaboo. Going after the bugaboo. Of course, now I roll a natty eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, so it, okay, just you know, it's within my aura, so it gets a minus one to its AC. Uh-huh. I get a plus one because inspire courage. Yep. So that is a thirty-three. That is a thirty-three. So that is a critical hit. Actually, God, that's great. Oh, God damn it, Tim. <laughs> It and thus it shall be. I know. What's more evil, the <laughs> great bogeyman or the children? <laughs> <laughs> the children could be corrupted oh, in the God. future. We must stop it. <laughs> it's 32 points of oh, damage. Man. Final season's happening. It's like, dude, you could slow down. That's a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being so mean to children? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, that's that's Chuma's turn. Hazel, it's your turn. All right. Hazel is going to quick alchemy. All right. A another acid flask, and uh, this one is going to have a little extra stuff in it, and mm. she puts. Uh, she puts some. Let's go with uh. Ooh, debilitating bomb. So if I hit you with this, I'm gonna add the flat-footed condition to you. Ooh. Okay. So here comes an acid flask. Okay, that is going to be a. 31 to hit. Uh, the aura lower, lowers their AC, right, right, Tim? Uh, no, no, this would be... So the aura applies specifically to my sonic attack. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. no, that is a miss by one. And did you, did you, did you include the Inspire Courage, Cal? Yes. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Uh, this has been a rough brutal. night for you, Cal. <laughs> yeah, man, tell me about it. You take two two acid damage. Um, okay. And in comes a alchemist fire. Okay. At, at minus poopy. It's not gonna hit anyway. Oh, it's a natural nineteen. Minus. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, so that will be definitely a crit. Uh, 33. 33. That is a hit. Yeah. You have to roll huh. so high Thank to hit God. this motherfucker. I'm frightened uh, too. Like, literally. Oh, yeah. I oh, forgot yeah. About that's, that. that's true. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, I would like you to describe your kill. No way. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Oh, dang. What? Uh, so I throw an acid flask and it, like, lands right at his feet and splishes him with some acid. And he's like, Bleh. And then he looks up. And an alchemist, an alchemist fire bottle just hits him right in the face, and just catches all of his stripy clothes on fire, and he bursts into flames. <laughs> his greatest sin was those stripes. <laughs> totally gauche. It's it's amazing, as worthless as Hazel was, I got the landing blow on both. The, both you have no idea how happy that makes me. Wow. <laughs> Real MVP. <laughs> I oh, make a can. I, I only do damage when it counts the most. Exactly. <laughs> That's why you are always on the squad. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, oh, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yep. All right. Hazel out here, right. log gun slinger. <laughs> uh, 
You guys see the bogeyman completely engulfed in flames and laying on the ground. Lionel, it's your turn. I'm just going to start swinging at uh, this this <laughs> young child right in front of me. <laughs> clean up, baby. Time to clean out the loose ends. Natural 17 your- on the die for 37. Uh, that is going to be a critical hit. All right. This this is going to go see- very much like the last time where Lionel's <laughs> going to crit every strike. Just- uh, as it, you, you crit it clearly because it was going, No, Daddy, don't die. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> daddy, don't die. Uh, 14, don't so leave tw- me, Daddy. <laughs> 28 points of damage. Uh, okay. That was my first shot. Here's the second. Only an eight on the die for um so that'd be at sixteen twenty-four. Uh that is exactly a hit, so <laughs> roll some more damage. Oh wait, that was the first attack was with the Cold Iron. The Cold Iron, so I'll need to do another ten. Ooh, ten. Yep. That is uh, oh sorry, not 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 that much, but still. But it could be that much. Save weakness. No, it's not. <laughs> Why did you say <laughs> um, 15 points of damage on the second one. Okay, 15 points of damage and on the second one. And just because I feel like it and I haven't used it yet, and it was a cool thing that Jake added to Lionel's character sheet. Oh, no, I had to drop, drop the spark blade to pull the cold out. Never mind. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Uh, Demiri, it is your turn. Demiri's just gonna switch her hand like seeing that this bogeyman is just engulfed in flames and is dead just immediately twirls around and just stabs this evil paper boy right in the chest uh, with a rapier not even gonna hunt prey on him just like nope <laughs> not even doing that uh, 34 it, not, not even gonna look at him no. just what behind yeah, you yeah kind of like that she just alternates her grip so like the blade just turns and just steps right behind her cause she knows he's right there looking yep. with his creepy little eyes um, hmm. 35 to hit uh, that is a critical hit God damn it <laughs> yeah of course it is oh crap you know what crit damage that's right 26 points of damage oh Okay. Um, and then from there uses. Um, shit, I guess I should have. Uh, I didn't say it, so whatever. Um, use the uh, twin tick down. I feel like I should have done that first, but I didn't. No. <laughs> uh, that is a 22 to hit. Uh, that is a miss, actually. That is a miss. And I roll again at the map. <laughs> God damn it. 30 to hit with the main... No, sorry. Hmm. 28 to hit, sorry. I'm miscalculated. Uh, that is a hit. Okay, there we go. Uh, please describe your kills. You have one HP. <laughs> yeah. Like, just... She turns around, stabs with the rapier, hits him, like, pretty damn hard, pulls away... Like misses again, like she was going for like a double s- stab, but then swipes out with the main gulch and just like cuts him like right across the neck, and just. <laughs> I'll be to get him all souls where you're going. You see some of the spirits that uh, this child has devoured come pouring out of its throat. Uh, mm. Despicable creature. And as it dies, it falls to the ground going, Daddy, I can't hear you. Daddy. I'm deafened for a minute. <laughs> Deaf, I'm deafened. I'm deafened for the rest of my life. I'll never hear Daddy's sweet voice again. Uh, really pulling out the A material on episode 100. <laughs> Jake started it. Uh, I did. It was, it was unnecessary, but it was way funny. Um, The last bugaboo is going to strike out in anger. No! Give me a natural 20 no. and I'm high enough to completely kill Lionel in one shot. Just this tiny little uh, nothing minion. It's one shot. It is going to run after Hazel. Oh, ah. oh no. Ah. Hazel. Opportunity! You get your attack of opportunity. I'll Finally! Finally! <laughs> Fuck! 
22 on the die. 22. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> I miss. <laughs> Damn it. Can we say he's uh, flat-footed because he's distraught and doesn't know what's going on? <laughs> Can we say I hit because uh, I want to hit? Um, no, no, no to both. Uh, two strikes on you, Hazel. And it's going to be a 30 to hit. Yep. And it's going to be 17 points of slashing damage. And a 28 on the second attack. Yep. And nine points of slashing damage on the second attack. Howie. All uh, right. Jump it. It's your turn. Make this child death. Don't worry, little kobold. I will save you. And Chum inspires courage with that very encouraging declaration and will just blast a piercing him with a 27 to hit. That'll be a hit. Alright. Oh, look at all that damage. <laughs> 15 points of damage. Alright. One more time. Another piercing hit. Uh, I believe that's another hit with a 25. Uh, yep, that is another hit. Okay. Lots of dice. Twenty th- 24 Jeez. points of damage. 24? Good. Yeah, yes. I rolled Jeez. really well. Good I'm going 5d6 plus oh, 3. God. Dude, it's like he's not even playing a character. It's like he's playing a monster. <laughs> I know the monster <laughs> stats are stupid. Like a, like a creature. <laughs> All right, it is surprisingly still alive. Yeesh. Just, sorry, little kobold. Just hanging. I'm sorry, little kobold. <laughs> it's in return. Daddy, can you hear me? <laughs> Dude, can, can, can we write me as where I he's die? always kind of like singing? Like he's just slow jamming yeah. his life. Yeah, of course. I walk into the closet. Yeah, it's a sing song. I could not find the jacket I wanted. <laughs> So I put on this robe, and I put on this robe, and that's why I'm dressed like I am. Foggy man, <laughs> coming from my face, not good. <laughs> Hazel, it's your turn. <laughs> oh my god, alright. Hazel two. smashes a alchemist fire into this thing's face. Kill it. Just slap it with an alchemist fire. Uh, alright, Natty 17 oh. for a... He's dead. Uh, 34. Uh, exactly a critical hit, so. Dead. Cool. So, shit load of fire Please let Hazel get every kill on this encounter. Please, Jake. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> uh, where are my D8s? All right, there they are. I'll subscribe to the DPS if you do. <laughs> it's, it's insulting you having me. We're going. <laughs> well, I don't believe in us. Oh, okay. <laughs> I understand it. Um, okay, wow. Uh, so, 30 damage it's gotta of be. fire. Right. Uh, Please describe your kill as it has 7 <laughs> HP left. Yeah. Uh, very similar to the bogeyman, <sighs> except for this napalm just burns this thing's face off. Because I literally smashed it right into its face. Yeah. There's... The bugaboo covers its face, trying to get the sticky napalm off. Ah! And you can see the souls starting to leave their wounds and eyes and orifices. And the bugaboo is burning. <laughs> the night all of a sudden gets really quiet now. The constant screaming and whispering of souls has finally left the area Ooh. as uh, as I don't I don't I don't know if you guys would know this but um the the thing about the bogeyman is that uh the the devour soul thing means that um they don't even uh they don't even go to the boneyard mm-hmm. they're just done so these souls can now yeah yeah they, they just disappear yeah um so now the now these souls can actually like go on to the afterlife, and who knows how old each of them were. Mm. Lionel stumbles up to Hazel. 
Guns, Cobalt, who taught you to kill like that? But natural born skill. <laughs> and lots of time in the lab. I've never seen <laughs> anything so impressive. Yeah, you did okay yourself. Yes. <laughs> well, I did always do. <laughs> did, did, did she score let's, any kills? <laughs> oh, yeah, I got plenty of kills. But not this particular uh, fight. That was all you. <laughs> hey, you the cat, the bogeyman, the uh, I think you maybe did total 30 damage the whole fight. <laughs> yeah, probably. But you got every kill. A little more than that now, but yeah. That was the funniest fucking yeah. thing. Uh, I'm a kill stealer. All right, let's let's get these goblins home. I, you say kill steal, I say killer instinct. <laughs> <laughs> I love that game. I um, see they're yep. all dead, and let's just get the hell out of here. You guys gather up the kobolds. They... Uh, Fall at your feet, thanking you. The bumble brassers explained. Uh, we 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 came out here to, to search for Big Bumble again, and uh, she, she she was gone. We couldn't find her. This this horrible they, man. They keep talking about this Big Bumble. I have no idea what the fuck these people are talking about. I don't think anybody knows what they're talking about. No, no, Big Bumble, Big Bumble, Big Bear. Big you realize Bumble. if you say the Saying name over and over again, doesn't that doesn't actually give know. me information. <laughs> <laughs> Like um, it's, we had a mascot. Uh, the, 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 the it was a big bear. Mascot. Wh- what is a mascot? Are you franchising? What the fuck? <laughs> well, one day. <laughs> one day <laughs> there'll be a bumblebrasher <laughs> camp in every town. <laughs> one for each side. Tell me what what is this mascot? Uh, well, do not understand. You see, I, I, as a tribe, uh, we, we, we like to have someone that represents us. Um, and we thought, who better, for alliteration's sake, to have Big Bumble uh, and be a bear? Well, I see. I represent you kind of like how I represent the heavens. I don't know what's more impressive, the fact that you were able to tame a brown bear or you know what alliteration means. <laughs> <laughs> True. Can we please just get back to the citadel? I, I am tired of being out here. No, we must find this big bumble. They are of immense importance. If they are supposed to herald this tribe, we must. No, must no, find they're not. Must they're spend not. the next We're, seven you d- hours. You don't understand, the next five Angel. Episodes. You don't understand. We don't want a bear in the castle. It would not. It would not. No, uh, be no we, we, we do. We do. In fact, we do. We do want. Wait, how much HP does Truma charge. have? <laughs> we all just kill I'm him. gonna Stab dismiss the angel, the angel thanks. <laughs> Stab him. Kill him to get that sweet angel meat. <laughs> so tasty. Coveted. By no first time we've used it. Uh, you guys gather up the kobolds and you all head back. You mean the like goblins? Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. You guys. I just grabbed Hazel. Hazel. Run. <laughs> <laughs> you gather up the goblins. You gather. You gather. You gather up the bubble brassers, and you make your way home, knowing that you were successful. Um, and you spend a long next eight, ten hours walking back. You know. You know how you got here. So it's a little bit shorter than that. But uh, you make your way back, and you see one of the goblins sitting there, still playing with the dice. This is dangerous. Why? Why? What? What's? What are those for? I've never seen them. Oh, these are very special dice. Oh, yes? Yes, they're from Greenleaf Geek. <laughs> Greenleaf Geek? If you use the link greenleafgeek.com slash dragonpunchsquad or use the discount code at checkout, you can get 10% off selected items. You're telling me I can get these magnificent... Is that an icosahedron? I've only heard of them in tales. I don't know what that word means, but yes. <laughs> wow. Well, once I'm able to find this druid, this green leaf geek, I shall be sure to use promo code Dragon Punch Squad at checkout to score ten. What is ten? Ten percent off the order? Was it? That's right. Ten percent off. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> What is this organization? Can I roll an underworld check? 
Okay. Only if you have green leaf geek dice. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I don't. Wait, I do. I actually have my green leaf. Do geek you have dice green leaf? Right oh here. wow! Look at that. I do. Yes, this is from the perhedral set, so it has a little galaxy cat in the center of it. Ah, um, nice. So yeah, we are now officially partners with Green Leaf Geek. Uh, so thank you so much, Green Leaf Geek for collabing with us, partnering with us. Uh, pretty awesome ushering in of the next 100 episodes of the DPS. So yeah, Shop Greenleaf Geek, they're a one-woman shop. Um, they are an excellent... I mean, all their dice are amazing. Like, um, I did sadly have to put this dice into dice shell today, but usually they're not in dice shell. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know, there are a couple of sets uh, on their site that are sold out. I'm just like, I want it. Give it to me. I know. Uh, I know. Just wait for that restock, baby. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, completely forgot this was a thing. That totally took me off guard. I was like, "What are they? What are they doing? What are they doing?" <laughs> I was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> is this is this a bit? <laughs> uh, this is a bit. Uh, so, you guys get back to Citadel Terrain. The uh, Warble Bumblebrasher is there with the Seder that you guys oh, just yeah. told them to go back. Oh, yeah. Um, Everyone knows and you, you, the uh, same uh, name. Uh, I'll edit it in right here because I forgot what his name was. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> I'll pass it. Tony the Seder. The uh, there's a big reunion and uh, all of you are around and the bubble wrestlers are all happy and the scor- the thorn scales are happy that they have their partying friends back. Um, there's a big celebration as everyone is joyous. Um, and oh, as the four of you are sort of hanging around and walking around the castle, you guys are walking through the halls and you're sort of talking about the Citadel. And you guys, as you're walking through the sort of northern side of it, there's a big flash that comes out from one of the back rooms. Ah, the back rooms? And as you guys kind of look at each other, like, what the heck was that? You go to this room where a library was being built and Aleph is gone oh no that is actually insane I'll see you guys next time oh Oh, my god what What the actual fuck Jake (laughs) don't don't, do do whatever you want to Lionel kill Benson leave Aleph alone he's he's suffered enough oh my (laughs) gosh Shoma throws up the deuces and, uh, and, and blinks out. Oh, not my problem. No, no, no. We have to get Shuma drunk. All right. Like, this is called beer. What is this beverage? I know what it beer is. It tastes of holy water, but fine. This is called moonshine. Thank you, everyone, for listening to our episode 100 special. And remember to visit greenleafgeek.com slash dragonpunchsquad and make sure to use the discount code dragonpunchsquad at checkout for 10% off selected items. We will see you next week.